how will the you know transition sort of take, take place? Um, you know, it'll, it'll take place you know as we get more into our playbook. Right. Um, Graham's only been here for I think like a month and a half, so obviously not the whole playbook is open. And we don't have all our pieces moving yet, but I guess just through time, just really, you know. what can you tell from an offensive line perspective about the the differences in playing in Graham's scheme so far? In terms of offensive line, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, you know, Graham's offense at North Texas. We're gonna be moving around a lot more, uh, running a lot more, and uh, that's pretty much the main thing. So you have to be better shape. Yeah, <laughs> a lot better shape. How do you think it suits you guys and your strengths and abilities? Uh, I think it suits us really well. You know, I feel like from top to from left to right, we're all pretty athletic. Actually, pretty much everybody on the O line. I feel like we all move really well, and uh, that should help us out. What's the difference going through a full off season with Drevno over you guys? Um, a full off season. I mean, you know, he really helped us. When he came on late in the season. I think it kind of just carried over, and uh, kind of just got to build our trust a little more. How long, how long does this offseason feel? It seemed like the season ended late November, you don't have a bowl game. Uh, did it feel longer? It felt like forever, you know. Uh, we, we end on a season like we did with no bowl game, so we just had a lot of time to reflect. So when workouts finally started, uh, you know, we, we were going really hard every single day. And we had a lot of time to think about it, like I said earlier, not being in a bowl game. How were you guys processing all the ups and downs, all the news, and just like, everything that was happening? Would you all get together and talk about it, or was it just, you know, individual? Um, yeah, we talk about it as a team, and uh, you know, really we just lean on each other and who's here, and just keep moving forward. So, what was your first impression of uh, of Harold when he came in? Of Harold, um, I thought he was real clear and concise. Um, seems like he has a plan for our offense, and um, you know, I believe in him, I trust him. What is the process for actually teaching step by step the new offense? Like, how what was the first thing that was introduced in the process that followed? Um, it was pretty simple actually. It was nothing major. We put in a couple rounds, a couple passes. Um, we, we start. We put in our base protection and stuff like that. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Now is it? You guys are you guys using iPads and stuff like that? Is it the classroom? What's the combination of teaching the methods that they use? Um, you know, it's pretty typical, like every school. Uh, you know, notebook to read, notebooks to read, and just write down information. Uh, you know, we all have iPads. We can all look at plays. We all have our installs on our iPads. Um, we had that last year too. So. Uh, so the learning method is similar. It's just new scheme. Yeah. With new with Coach Drevno, not necessarily offensive coordinator. With Coach Drevno, we're a lot more hands on. We're a lot more walkthroughs. So, that's just for the offensive line. I can't speak for what else. That was the biggest difference he brought. He yeah, took over. yeah, a lot more hands-on. Uh, it was pretty much everything. It seemed like you guys responded to him pretty quickly last fall. What, what was the process there? Um, he wasn't that new to us. You know, he's been there for he was there for the first half of the season, and uh, you know, it was at a time of a lot of adversity. And you know, he welcomed us in. He didn't, you know, try to force anything. And, you know, kind of just eased his way into his position. Uh, how does your role change in terms of being vocal and stuff with those three starters? You're one of the veteran guys back now. Yeah, you know, me being one of the veteran guys in the offensive line, uh, I definitely have to speak up a lot more, uh, be more vocal, and really just set the, set the tone uh, of every play and every practice. So. What's that? Has it changed your mindset at all of how you come out here and practice now that you're one of the leaders out here? Uh, no, I've always tried to come out here and practice really hard, so I feel like that hasn't changed. I guess it's good to see that more people are watching. Do your splits change at all with the air raid offense? Are you guys wider? Is it kind of the same? Oh, uh, that's a little bit wider. Yeah. Uh, as a unit, what's what's the mindset coming in here? Do you feel like you guys have a lot to prove coming off last year? How do you look at it? What's um, definitely have a lot to prove coming off the season that we did, and um, but you know we gotta focus on it step by step. We can't rush it all. It's not gonna happen overnight. But just got to keep working day in and day out. And again, you're filling three spots. What, what, what have you seen from the guys stepping up in those in those voids so far? Um, you know, everybody's ready to work. You know, even with all the transfers going on, I seen like a lot of young guys and walk-ons step into those roles and take it on with no complaining and no excuses. So I think that really defines our team. That's here. What was that first off of the meeting like with Graham? Um, it was pretty simple. You know, you established you know, our philosophy um, and what we're going to do how we're going to do things and uh, there's no excuses you know from being in class 
going to dinner, going to breakfast, stuff like that. Um, for the offense, we're held accountable.